Hi, my name is Sanjay Katimani and my final project uh, for Big Data Analytics course at Harvard Extension School is SCOOP, a mechanism for transferring data to and from Hadoop file system. Problem statement. Structured data stored in uh, relational databases and enterprise data warehouses is not accessible for analysis in Hadoop. We can force MapReduce to access this ki these kind of data uh, from databases or enterprise data warehouses, which can be very repetitive and error prone. Solution, Scoop, which is a tool designed for efficiently transferring bulk data between Hadoop and structured data sources such as relational databases and enterprise data warehouses or NoSQL data store. Let's look at Scoop architecture. When you set up Scoop and uh, issue a command such as import data into Hadoop file system, uh, you will notice that Scoop creates a map, map, map reduce a job or task on the fly for you based on uh, the inputs that you have given, that is uh, the data structure, and uh, it executes it to bring the data from RDBMS or EDW or NoSQL data store that you have mentioned um, and creates that structure into Hadoop file system. Scoop is bundled with uh, a couple of connectors for MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, SQL Server, JDBC um, to make the connections and import or export the data between HDFS and these uh, relational data stores. It also has uh, two native tools which are high performance connectors uh, to connect to MySQL as well as PostgreSQL. Please follow the installation guide, uh, Scoop installation guide uh, to install the VM and set up the uh, set up all the required uh, applications or drivers uh, for Scoop. I provided detailed uh, instructions on how to install this and how to verify your installation. Once we are done with uh, installation of uh, Scoop and setting up our um, VM, we have to install VAMP server, which includes MySQL from uh, this URL. So once you open a PHP MyAdmin, you get a screen something like this. Um, and I have already created a Harvard DB. Uh, which is a database under PHP MyAdmin and um, created two, uh, two tables in that. One is students, which is a very uh, limited uh, record set of four records. And another table is products, which has about 50,000 records. And uh, I prov provided the scripts for both of these tables in the source. I have already tested uh, with the limited set of uh, students that is four students we will take a look at uh, how the data is organized so if you if you go to uh, hive you can see the students here which was imported earlier and i can see all the uh, hdfs files here so let's fire up scoop and try to import our products table here now uh, the command to import scoop data is scoop import connect jdbc which is mentioning the driver and mysql is the uh, database which is located sorry mysql is the driver uh, this is the ip address where uh, Howard db is located and then username password and we want the table products if you want to protect username and password there are uh, different ways. One of the ways uh, you can mention a parameter as hyphen p instead of password here and it will ask for the password here in the console and then uh, you, the other way is to provide uh, the credentials in an external file and provide that as that file as an input to this command. Um, this is one of the way. So let's give this command and see So it is creating the okay. So it's creating the map reduce job as you can see here. 
then it will start importing the data. I think it's on its job. So we can also see the status in a couple of other places. For example, I can see um, the Hadoop cluster activity here. As you can see one app is running here. MapReduce job is running. Let's come back to see the progress. MapReduce job is running right now. Probably it will take a couple of seconds or minutes. So there it's okay. We are 50%. There, it has imported all 50,000 plus records. It has transferred 7 MB. And let's see how the data looks. So the job ended. Let's look at Hive and see if our products, products table is here. Yes, it is. So we have all the data over here. So let's look at um, the part so that we see. All right, these these are our records. Yes, if you have seen the data of um, in MySQL, that is exactly how the data is. I just had created a UUIDs. Um, uh, for all these columns just to fill up the data so there we have uh, uh, we have successfully imported the data from mysql to uh, hdfs now this data is available for hdfs to analyze and process while the scoop import was running uh, behind the scenes scoop was uh, busy creating a products java file uh, with you can see its score, uh, source code here with all the map reduce uh, functions and then uh, compiling it and then executing it so that um, the products data flows from MySQL into HDFS. So let's try to import the data from HDFS to MySQL back. Uh, for this, I have created a empty table called imported products in which I will import the same products data that we exported into HDFS. Let's export the data from HDFS to uh, RDBMS, that is MySQL. For that, the command is scoop export connect uh, and the connection string, the database name, username, and this time I men not mentioned the password here. It is going to ask me uh, the password and the table uh, it has to import is imported products the table in which the data will go is imported products and uh, it has to pull the data from exp uh, the export directory is uh, where the data lies in hdfs and it is supposed to use um, the native uh, connector and these are the column names note that if you have any spaces uh, or anything like that here it throws error so there we go and it asked me the password. It's creating the map this job. It's running the job. Let's check it. Yep. It's going to take a while to bring in all this data back into MySQL. Okay, it has in exported all those 50,000 plus records. So let's see. Let's go back to our MySQL and refresh. There we have it. Imported products is populated with all the data, all 50,000 plus records data. So this is the way we um, import and export data. As you can see, Scoop has greatly reduced um, 
the need for writing MapReduce for each and every table that we want to uh, transfer between uh, RDBMS and uh, HDFS. Other related technologies of HDFS. Flume is uh, another uh, technology that brings in large amounts of log data or uh, unstructured uh, data to be more specific into HDFS. Uzi is the other technology that can be uh, used to schedule uh, automated imports and exports of uh, data between RDBMS and uh, HDFS. Uh, in other words, you can uh, schedule scoop jobs using Uzi. Data transformations can be done in Hadoop using MapReduce or Hive. To summarize, first the benefits. As you saw during the demo, I did not write even a single line of MapReduce code, but just issued a couple of uh, scoop commands and it wrote all the required code behind the scenes. It greatly helps in moving the data from RDBMS to Hadoop file system. Also writes the most efficient code as we do not have to manually write uh, anything to convert the data types or anything like that. It also avoids all the errors that we could end up with when writing uh, the code for multiple uh, tables like this. It also has certain limitations and known issues as as scoop is still evolving, such as uh, primary key is required for every table that we are importing, etc. But nevertheless, it's a great technology to move data between HDFS and relational databases and data warehouses. Thank you.